Hello and welcome to Cracks in the Glass, a Thief 2 fan mission by Marble Man. Now, this again, like so many of them, doesn't have a briefing video, so I'm going to read out the text. Seems like the business has hit a low point again. I haven't had many jobs lately, and only a few of them ended up being lucrative. Naturally, I take any chance to earn some quick cash these days. An old contact of mine, Paolo, has offered me a job. Paolo owns an inn in Wayside, which he uses as a front for some shady business. He didn't give me any details, just told me to meet him at the usual place, the inn's cellar. I arrived during normal hours, but none of the visitors seemed to mind me. The first thing that was different from all my previous meetings with Paolo was that the cellar door was locked, with a note hanging by. No entry, not even for the bar staff. It seemed like he really didn't want any disturbance. Picking the lock was easy enough, but after I went down the stairs, Paolo wasn't there. Moreover, there was something strange about the cellar. Through the thick darkness, it seemed that the walls were almost moving. I know it was lying in the spotlight. Meeting is off. An uneasy feeling came over me. I felt as if, as if I was being set up. With my sword ready, I slowly went back up the staircase, which also seemed to have transformed somehow. However, the bar looked unchanged. Might be just my mind playing tricks on me, but I don't like the situation one bit. I'd better get back to my hideout as soon as possible. Alrighty. Let's play it on hard as usual. Something is not right. Get back to your hideout north of the warehouses. And don't kill anyone who's unarmed. Alrighty. Oh, we've just left it in, but things were not quite right there. Check your map. Palos Inn is in the east part of town, and Hyde is in the north. Warehouses, rumoured illegal activities might be lucrative. Factories, probably inaccessible. Well, we'll have to see. Do I have my compass? I do. Gals on the street, I've got a healing potion. And my lockpicks, and one flash bomb. Alright, that's something. Sword, blackjack, 15 broadheads, 8 waters, 4 moss arrows, a single rope arrow. What do we got here? Somebody sleeping. A rat and a bottle. That uh, makes sense, you wouldn't expect. Somebody sleeping on the streets to have much in the way of gold and other such valuables. Is that guard coming back again? Yeah. That's okay, I'm gonna, just like last mission I played, I'm gonna try sneaking more than not, but it can always go very wrong. I, mean, I don't know if these guards are gonna be hostile or not, but probably they are. The city streets. Sometimes people like to make it so the guards are not hostile on the streets, but usually... Usually not. Alright, I actually want to go where that guard's going. I want to go to the south. Let's see if there's a nice shadow here. There it is. I want to see if this probably inaccessible factory really is. It does look like there's a window there that uh, suggests some kind of accessibility. If only I had my portable helicopter. Do I have anything to steal? No. Whoa! Something moved there. Nothing, nothing. Where did you come from? Oh, you did see me. This is your last chance. You did see me. Step out here. I won't hurt you. Alright, what's that bow for? It looks like you're trying to hurt me. The, I don't know what you're worried about. There's nothing, mm, nothing to worry nothing, about. Nothing, I guess. Nothing oh, at all. No. Wow. So, uh, oh, there's a different guard coming down here now. This guy has a healing potion. Just turn around as you go down the alley and goes down the alley. All right. I'm 
gonna get spotted here. safe in that corner. Yeah, it was just... It was nothing, alright. No, he's the first guy I saw. He's the one who turns around. Civilian is probably going to get spooked if he sees me, so I'll let him go too. Does he have any money on him? Doesn't appear to. Here comes our archer friend. There's a civilian who's fascinated by uh, power equipment. It's just just watching the dials. I suppose it could be a uh, a worker, but what can I do? Can I get in here now? Come on. It's never really anything. Never really anything. Good. Oh, there's a giant snake on the floor. Maybe it's a rope. Yeah, it's uh, supposed to be a bell rope, I guess. Pretty enormous rope. But, uh, that's snapped. I won't be ringing this bell. At least not without an arrow head. Fire an arrow head. Oh! There's moss hanging down from the uh, wood here. This is a bit of damp. <laughs> Take a moss arrow, what's this? Some kind of metal thing. I thought that was a street I could see out there, but no. It's a wall. No, I didn't think there's anything else gonna be found up here. Till the traffic on this highway has uh, moved on. I wonder if there's anywhere else I can get from here. Well, that's not what I wanted. I tried to jump, but it didn't quite work. I wonder if I need this anyway. Oh, it's alright. This is going to be easily accessible here. Let's try that again, but this time try. All right. Nice and dark up here. I'm gonna make a uh, proper save before I fall to my death again. We got here open window. Oh, someone's left a mug in that. Well, oh, sorry. Goblet and golden plate. That's nice. I'll wait till these people have gone before walking into the light. I'm sure, they can actually see up here. So check the windows on this. Yeah, they're all, they're all closed. Right, that's the two that come up down here. The other guard and the civilian walk down the alley and then back. So I want to stay behind this guy. I should not get spotted. Oh, there's our civilian friend. Got another window here. I wonder if I could make that jump. Scout first. I mean, this is the probably inaccessible factories, and I've come across this way. So one of them still has a guard in front of it, and I can probably get in. I've been there. There's more places to go, but jump over onto that ledge. Let's try this window, huh? Looks risky. It's very narrow. <laughs> oh, I can make it. All right. Oh, what's this? A note. Friend, thy local mechanist seminary invites thee to the sermon on the ways of the builder. It is held on the morrow at our usual place, 52 Euro Street in Dayport. Be thou ever discreet. We are counting on thine attendance. Is there any guards in this place? Seems not. Always 
listen at the door first to see if I can hear any, any mumbling or snoring or whatever so I know what whether to expect an empty room or not. Wait. Oh, they're just sending that uh, invitation all around, I guess. This doesn't look like a mechanist kind of place, not with masks like that. It's rather more like somebody who is uh, interested in precursor equipment and has lots of bread. Actually, that's good. Five loaves of bread. Unless I need it for a quest reason, which I doubt. The sword. I've already got mine. I don't need that one. Alright. Door can't open. And this one's not locked. And the window's shut. Alright, we have a light switch. Cheese and cucumber. Well, I'll eat those. Mm, one hit point. Tasty. Bedroll. Ah, uh, another window here I can get out, which will take me on a pipe across the street. That's heading west, is it not? Yeah, alright, well. Let's see if I can, uh. kind of mark some. It's here, isn't it? Mark some of these ways to go. place to go up here as well. Ah, oh, look, I'm doing ASCII art on the map. I've never done that before. Let's mark the door there. And get rid of that X. Cool. Is there anything other than flowers up there? No. Nope. I guess I'm just paranoid from the previous mission of uh, leaving stuff. Oh, some downtown mirrors are valuable, so it's worth checking. Alright, well I got in here easily enough. Getting back should be a doddle. He says... Ouch. Yeah, whatever. I'm still alive. Here we have a fountain. Oh, noise. What? How did you not see me? Yeah, it is, but uh, I don't know how you didn't see me. That door isn't going to open. It's down this way. Well, this is not going anywhere near where I should be going. This looks like it's going deep underground or something. I don't know, it's just another entire part of the city. South of the factories. Uh, hmm. I get the feeling like this is something is going to be happening. And maybe I shouldn't just be exploring everywhere randomly. <laughs> or slowly dying by mistake. Alright, let's eat that bread. Only two hit points. Let's take my, one of my healing potions. <laughs> Since I did not intend to fall off there, but it happened anyway. So, little market stall here, huh? Hmm. Now this guy's just standing there watching me. Hope he doesn't actually come right up in here. Guess I better be prepared in case. No, 
isn't. Okay. Anything in these ones? Carrot, I'll take it. Yeah. So many girls on the streets. They're also all quite blind, which is not bad for me, but uh so just steam, no gas arrows or anything exciting. It'd be too easy, wouldn't it? Is he guarding anything up there? Guess I better go find out. Guarding a way up. That's good enough for me. More healing. I probably. I'm probably gonna need that. I'm not gonna need these bottles. Another door that doesn't open. Is this actually switch on and off now? Is that all there is up here? There's no. Unless I can get on that roof, but I don't have rope arrows, so no. I guess it's back down, back down for me then. Let's just see if I can do this quietly. Hello. Hmm. Can I get back up there? Climb up on one of those. Up on that. Yeah, it might be possible. I could knock him out here, but uh, probably shouldn't. What's that? Basement. That looks too small to crawl into. It's just a window. All right. I'm gonna wait till it gets a little further up, and I'm gonna run up and try and. Get on the barrel and then on the top. I hope Mr. Archer there doesn't see me. Alright! Oh! Thief! I see you there! This way! No! Don't wake up the archer, he'll shoot me with his arrows. Oh well, I don't mind that they saw me. As long as they didn't actually kill me, that's fine. Dark corner, so the people down there are gonna not find anything. Just on this noisy floor, I think I'm gonna try and knock him out because sneaking around noisy floors. He doesn't come in here though. I heard that too and got to Just wait till I find you. Got a bit of a shock. I want this guy to come here and then I'll hit him on the head. These things burn out faster than they used to. They do indeed. Come on, two more steps. Alright. Stop fooling around. There we go. Still be quiet because otherwise I'll keep riling up those people outside. Unless I can stay on the carpet, which not seem entirely uh, necessarily the case. Is that all? Oh. That door doesn't open. Wow, they're really angry out there. Screaming at the top of their voices. Nothing exciting about this fireplace. One gold candlestick. Oops. 
Which is similar to that. Oh, easy footstep I didn't intend to make. <laughs> we have a rooftop garden now. Where the hell am I? Like, as far as I can tell, I went round here, and I should now be somewhere here, but it's, it doesn't seem to correlate. Mm-hmm. Uh oh. Before I go in there, let's, uh... I don't have my bearings here. Anything I recognize. Oh, well, that's the uh, the place where the market was. Okay. Oh, there's a ledge here. So it could have, from that rooftop I got onto, I could have dropped down onto the ledge and then come across here. Alright. Would have avoided me uh, climbing through the window there, but that's okay. I don't suppose there's anything on that uh, statue, is there? I notice there's a pipe there that you could climb onto from ground level and then get up on the ledge as well. Now, who's that person I hear, hear snoring? <laughs> I'm gonna go check it out and then I'm gonna come back through. There's no way in there, right? It's just somebody really, really noisy. Really loud sleeper. <coughs> I want to see if there's anything on that statue. Or at least I want to try to try. Nope. Didn't sound like rap this time. Yeah, it wasn't. Damn grubbers. Ouch! Well, I keep doing it, I keep trying to jump and hurting myself, and uh, you'd think maybe I'd learn my lesson, but no. Well, I've got another healing potion, so you know, it all makes up for itself. I'm gonna be noisy, I think, doing this. Should be able to make it to that pipe. Yeah. Alrighty. Dark before he turns around. Just so he doesn't see me. There's our archer friend. What's that down there? Broken lever. There's a toolbox. Hmm. I do wonder if there's anything of value in that toolbox. I might not get another chance. fall him down and see if I can't examine the contents of that toolbox. I can also read the sign above the door at the same time. I probably should have done that before, but never mind. It's a fine night. There's plenty of time. Alright, here we go. Zrazra's Antiquities. Who's there? Well, it's not dark enough. Oh, that's you in here snoring. Time. Let's let's come and examine the sleeper after we've managed to pick the lock on that uh, toolbox. Also, there's that door. Although I didn't think it had a handle, maybe it does. Suddenly, could highlight it as if it would open. Oh. 
Good thing for me, I'm not an ordinary human. I'm Geralt with the uh, swiftness of a shadow and the shadowness of a swift. So nobody actually sees me. Also, this remarkable ability to leave these locks half picked. Oh, come on. Better be something good in there, given the amount of trouble this is. I really should just hit him on the head with my blackjack and get done with it, but no. No, I've got professional pride in play now. Or well, unprofessional pride, as you see my uh, general skill level. Quiet, you. <clears throat> well, that was gem worth 50, I think, in itself. You don't have anything, do you? Passed out there. Alright. Well, now there's a door across the way to check out as well. That's probably locked as well. For that, I'm gonna follow this guy around. Maybe not. This, yeah, well. It's a little. This patrol route's a little short for my lucky. So, alright, when I get my bearings, I'm going to see where this takes me. No, I'm not. I'll be running right into the light and he'll just see me and start waving that pointy thing of his all over the place. So somewhere down here is Razora. I guess. Now I'll come up this way. Check out my statue friends. So I guess. Oh, hello. You, somebody I've seen before? You're about to turn around, aren't you? Yep. Do you have anything worth stealing? Nope. Mm. Thought I heard something. Yeah, what did wrong? Must have been rats. Huh. What's going on there? Oh, that's the tower I was in. Okay, we've come out north of the tower now. Wait, wait, north of the tower? Which means that's my more of the wrong one, because the was over here somewhere. Yeah, that's right, so this continues onward. And somewhere down here is Razaraz. Okay. It's rag. I can't spell. Anything in this little nook? Nope. And that door doesn't open. Okay. I'll come full circle. Or full square. Open window that is worth checking out. But I want to come back here and check out the little secret passage I found, which means following this guard all the way back down his patrol route. Let's get some healing while I'm still alive. Yeah. Slowly following him, and then turning off at the next corner. Oh, don't you come this way too. If you come in here... Turn around, turn around. Thank you. You left your overshoes. I don't know where, but... Uh, if I knew where, and if they were valuable, I would steal them. I'm just 
waiting for him to go by so I get a little more space to talk about. There's our other friend wandering around down there. I won't run here because I might clank a little loudly as I uh, skip merrily down these inclines. Right, so we're back here, ready to climb up on the pipe, back up on the ledge, cross over and explore the ventilation system. And I also see an enormous banner there hanging from that beam. I wonder if I can destroy it. <clears throat> it must die, but not all banners actually are capable Nobody of death. Better be tapping around down here. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> There is nobody tapping around down here. Been tapping around up here. I'm not sure if that's getting close enough or not. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's destructible. Sad day for us banner haters. Alrighty. Right, just in case I completely mess up thoroughly, I'll put another oh, I'll save down. Mess up thoroughly, like not being able to. Like stepping on metal. Or not being able to make it inside the ventilation duct. Or at least it's. well, it's a. stone passage. Not a very modern duct after all. With uh, two ladders. On opposite sides. More metal. Hmm, that's probably where I've got to go. Torch is not lit, and a door that doesn't open that is where I've got to go. Right, so we've got. It's a very noisy floor here, and we've got some lights. It's a gong I could ring if I was ridiculously uh, foolish. That'll be the front door key that I couldn't open from outside. What's this? Magnifying glass. Specs. What's this book say? Week 43. Purchased 12 gold candlesticks. 450 gold pieces. Precursor tapestry. 115. Two decorative plates, 15. Total, 580 gold pieces. Sold, eight gold candlesticks, three statuettes. Right, so he should have his two decorative plates, his precursor tapestry, and at least, and four gold candlesticks. At the very least, what's that? Quiet. It's uh, some kind of thing that does not seem the kind of thing I need to be interested in. What are his, let's see his goods. Gold jars, that was not listed in his ledger, but it wasn't his stock take, of course, it was his what he bought and sold, so obviously nobody found those valuable. Decorative plate, decorative plate, decorative plate. Statuettes. Wait, where's his four gold candlesticks? This isn't, this isn't right. I feel robbed. I mean, not as robbed as he does, would, or whatever, of course, but uh, just turn the lights on for a minute and see if I can. He's got a crossbow. I wonder what that was. Quiet, you lumbering ox. That little panel there doesn't open, does it? No sign of a switch. Alright. I guess that's all. Do I go out by the street? I think I do, because I want to go back. There's nothing else around here, is there, that I want to check out with Dunzaraz. There's a guard there guarding a door, but I don't know whether there's any good. I want to get up here. So that means coming back to the tower. So yeah, let's go back out on the street and back up 
past our friend who was patrolling behind the inn. Stick it on, that was my moment. Now I gotta wait for him to go around again. Well, I I have nothing else, I've got patience. I hope you won't notice the open door. Let's leave it half shut. Time to go. Hello, our fine friend here. Well, he mumbles about his overshoes. <coughs> Someone making noise? No, no, no. I'm just waiting here in this patch of not, oh, well. not very it's great not darkness, but nothing. some darkness peeked across the metal. Alrighty. I'm gonna go in that window next, I think. He's far enough away. <laughs> I think he's up and down the hole. If there's anything I need in that hole, I'm probably gonna have to knock him out. Look, he's got another healing potion! I like this guard. Oh, there's a key. All right. Not again. I like him less. It's just a key. Fire arrow and three fire arrows and one mine. Interesting. And there's an explosive barrel here. I wonder what other combustible storage water to put out the fire. Great. Safety first, I guess. Somebody's desk. Very cramped office. 707. The client, Murdoch J, claims that he used to own certain property and would like to seize it back. The item in question is a house near the shore. However, the client could not give us the exact location of the house or any directions on how to get there. Instead, he vividly described all his memories associated with the place. He promised to come back tomorrow with the details so that we can proceed. Note, must talk to Straber. Something about this Murdoch doesn't seem right. There must be a lawyer's. Oops. Two or twice. Is that clock valuable? New? Any waste any waste paper? No. Oh, he's got a balcony. Where are we now? Alright, I could see that place from the tower. I think a tower is down. Yeah, we're north of the north of the tower still, of course. Well, there's another balcony there. Is that an open window? It might be. Oh! Oh, he started off just down here. Okay. I know exactly where I am. Ouch! What's the problem with these jumping maps? The nice thing about rope arrows is they give you options. Pure jumping maps require you either to reload lots or be really good with your techniques or really lucky with your jumps. Right. I'm getting a little tired of all the sneaking. Especially when I have to make jumps and fail. So I am going to clear out a few spaces when I can. Right. Let's try that again! Actually, does this open? Probably not, no. Then 
this time, if I don't make it, I'm gonna reload. Oh. Because I'm half dead. <laughs> well, this is what we get when people build really tiny, narrow ledges without following the building guidelines to say two feet. Something that's two feet is much easier to jump off and mantle. Ho oh, ho, jeez! I'll leave that one, I've lost a bit more health. That should restore a few hit points, surely. If it's just the usual random one, then I'm gonna be upset. A whole wheel of cheese, well, almost a whole wheel. Honestly, if I eat it, I wouldn't be surprised if Garrett just like pukes up and dies. That'd be a fun thing to do in a fan mission. It's like, oh no, it's not poison, it's just, uh. Nope. I was trying to eat some apples when I hit the light switch. Uh, it's not poison, it's just, if you eat that much cheese in one sitting, what do you expect? Anything on the windowsill? No. Alright, you can close again. No other interesting windows around. Try making this jump again. All right, made it. Back down the ladder. Oh now I need to see if our friend here has anything else worth investigating. And I'm gonna knock him out to do that. I think. Oh, maybe I can follow him. Neither of his windows. Uh, uh, neither of the doors in this hallway there. Openable. Alrighty. So we got the N. Head south, we get back to the tower. Now there is there is a place up here I'm gonna to get to, right? Which means going back to the tower. Which I can do, right? This is the guy that comes back. And there's our civilian friend. Just walking randomly. Oh, this is the guard who patrols around there, okay. Right, back in the tower. Let's see if we can't jump off that gargoyle again without death. Nope, I saw nothing. Too tense. Shouldn't have drunk all that coffee this morning. Can I make this jump? <laughs> I can. Oh. Is there any reason to? Neither of these doors open. Okay. <laughs> I can sit up here. Oh, I can. Oh, there's a ladder. Okay. I can scout. Anything in the fountain? Nothing that I can see, oh, I can't really see the top. But I can't really explore the fountain like I went walking around. Uh, that pipe does not lead to a ledge, so it's pointless. Do I want to get down here? No, I want to go back the way I came. And then I'm have my bearings, and then this archer will be in front of me, so he won't be shooting arrows at me. Always an important consideration. Well, that was a quiet landing. Of course, I haven't made this jump this way, but I'm sure it's possible. Ha! <laughs> 
chest. I checked it already. Alright, down we go. The slow way, not the fast way. Alright, where to now? We want to head west, I guess, towards the warehouses with rumored illegal activities that might be lucrative. Good shadows. The guard friend is staying to this middle of the street and not looking at these uh, flower beds. Even better, he's staying to the far side of the street. There's nothing. Forgot about him. Statue. A bit visible here. I think I've got time. Did he actually come in up here and look? I don't know. Yes, he does. He comes right round, alright. Nothing to pickpocket either. He's our archer friend and there'll be one more guard coming through soon, right there. The opposite way from the archer. I don't know, oh, and the other civilian I heard. Some woman sneezing. Must be up in one of those apartments there, they look swanky. Yeah, here's the other guard. Oh, Mr. Stop and Stare is stopping and staring. Well, I've got patience. At least, sometimes I do. Wait till he turns. Alright, now. Now I can finish my job. Probably just the wind. Yep, the wind always sounds like someone picking a lock. Accessible. Uh huh. Who's there? No one. Uh, not this time. Nothing. No one. Not this time. But why do I want to be here? <laughs> What's that? Does he have a face this not way? Not as exciting as I thought. I'm gonna take a risk. <clears throat> oh, well, I'm gonna need a key. None of the keys I've got work, do they? I shouldn't imagine so. I don't know a key, but he's got some money. There's gotta be a key around here somewhere. turn to left again, I can climb up on here, but it isn't giving me a key to the door. So how do I get it in here? Yeah, they are accessible, that's fine, but I need a key. Make a note. Oh, it was the factories that were marked as probably accessible, not the warehouse. Okay. It's quick and quiet. So... Perhaps lucrative, but also notably lacking in uh, valuables. Oh, hello. 
There's another open window. Oh, I've been in there. That's the one I jumped to from there and I didn't come out this way. Okay. If I can come across here. Be careful with the patch of light. Make sure he's not looking. <laughs> Does this help me get to... Well, I could drop down there, but it looks like it'll hurt. Hmm. Nobody's tapping around down there, they're tapping around up here. Oh, perhaps a lady I heard. Sneezing is in here. Healing potion and a book. A trickster's cookbook. If there's anything else in there, I can't fit in through the partly open window and I can't open it anymore, so. I'll take a healing potion though. I always need those. No, you're imagining it. Looks like nothing. I'm sure it was nothing. See, if it was me, I would put some, uh, you know, a loose bit of jewelry or something down in that grass around the statue because it's uh, a nice place for it to become to be hidden. So you don't have a key, right? No, and there wasn't any open crates. They're all thoroughly sealed. So, hmm. I definitely need a key and I'm not going to get it easily. Hello? Someone there. <laughs> nope. Well, we've been here before and we know there's no guards in here, so it's safe to come through. <laughs> it may not be safe to get out. Uh, I don't like doing this reloading, but when the physics is just messing up and you, oh, it doesn't even jump all the mantle, well, it's quite annoying. I'll give it another few tries, and then if it still doesn't work, I'll just try and find another way down. I did it before, there we are. Gah. Fiddly climbing. Well, the new mantle makes it a lot easier. It's still uh, often problematic. <laughs> Ouch! Bloody ladders. That's better. Sorry for all the quick loads there. This way. Yeah, what are you guarding? Probably inaccessible. Come over here, mate. Someone making noise. You never know. It's possible. I'll find you. Right now, I don't want to wake them up as well. Come on up then. Come on, into the darkness. There we are, and it's a nice dark shadow through the stand. Now I can see what you're hiding over here without facing it on. Oh, there's a door that doesn't unlock. Alright. Yeah. Probably inaccessible. Definitely inaccessible. At least I got your purse. Alright, next. Guess explore here and this street and then I'll go up to my hideout. This is the curse of the... Uh, 
person who's played too much Thief, you're given a simple objective, and the first thing you do is everything else except it. He's gonna go stare at something, isn't he? That's right, I can follow him. Uh, oh, I've been in here. Alright. Let's hope Mr. Archer doesn't come back too soon. Or even Mr. Uh, Patroller here. He's actually going my way. Good. Oh. Metal. What I'm probably going to do is wait for him to go out back out to the fountain square because I think he turns around there and comes here and there's nowhere to hide in this hallway. No, he does actually go a fair way out there, but I don't know. I certainly don't know if I've got any other obstacles to deal with. Oh, he stands and waits. Alright. That's alright. Two can play at the waiting game. Here he comes. Now I'm just going to stand over here. As soon as he goes, I'll slip in behind him. There's another vent. Probably doesn't open. There's no way to get it, get to it. Quietly over here. And here I can run. Well, I can't hear anybody. Let's just go for it. It's a long way up. It is. And not a lot of time before he comes back. <laughs> right now, at least should be out of sight. <laughs> Guys, this is my hideout. <clears throat> nope. Build your ledges thicker, people. One foot is not enough to jump off. <laughs> oh, one unit in drummer terms. I think they call them feet. Uh, that's an interesting chocolate chip ice cream texture. Is that my hideout? Where oh, is that it? I see loot there. No! Don't, don't, don't fall. Don't. That's not loot. Yeah, we all hate creepy noises. Ooh, he's got a bow. And he's walking in circles. On a noisy floor. You know what that means. It means I'm gonna knock him out. If you only got carpets installed, you'd be paying less and head surgery for your guards, but nope. Alright, I'll still be quiet because of the guard out on the street. I don't want to rile up. That door doesn't open. I see a flute on the floor over here, I think. Yep, that's worth money. And a book. Master the flute in 10 easy steps. Well, so it takes more than 10 steps to get around this room, and so if that guard had not yet mastered the flute, he never will. Alright, back out again. And it's probably possible to get it with some ridiculous sneaking without being spotted, but uh, or without having to knock him out. But I don't mind. Alright, let's get back down here as quietly as I can. Now. sure is not how my hideout should be. I'm going to make it hard save in case things end here and I can't get back to explore the streets, but maybe I don't care. Something is definitely wrong. It's all sideways for starters. Which is, uh... 
As far as I recall, my name is not Constantine, so... I don't know, who said it was sideways? And you know that I would actually make a good screenshot for the level, you know? It's not until you come here and see that you see it's actually uh, a different way up. So what is going on? Ah, uh, I wish they had different gravity on them. <laughs> It'd be nice if they fell sideways. I don't know if it's possible. You can adjust, you can adjust the strength of gravity on individual objects. But as far as I'm aware, you can't actually adjust the direction of it. Dark engine. Oh, the door opens, so I can't get out there. <laughs> Which is upside down. And uh, the way those statues are arranged is kind of like uh, bad debts. That reminds me of that. And there's a canal, there's a red light in a grove. Yeah, things are not normal here. Is that a lever? Huh. I wonder if that lever opens this gate and if it's possible to hit that lever with an arrow. Sort of thing you have to test, right? Well, it's possible to hit the lever with an arrow, but it doesn't open. Alright. Let's see what's through the door. A bed! Just what I need. Home sweet home. Someone's been here. The light is on, and there is a note on the table. See what it says. Well, before that, let's get the rest of my equipment. Another healing arrow. Uh, healing potion. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Moss arrows. Oh, I like that. Growing moss arrows in the plant pot. More broad heads and gas mines and stuff. Okay, training dummy. Turn the light off. Could even open the door. Hmm. This hallway looks relatively normal. It's suspicious. After what I just saw. Alright. Although. Yeah, maybe not. Uh, let's let's read this note first. See who's uh, collecting our uh, water arrows. I guess there's a leak in the ceiling. I'm not getting back out there at any rate. So close the door behind me. Garrett, I must be brief. What you are seeing is not a dream. You are in real danger and must act quickly. Not far from your hideout, there is a pagan themed shop. You know the place. It is located in the middle of Crockett Park. Inside the shop, there is a certain item that will help you. You will know it when you see it. I could not stay here to help you, but I will arrive in the morning. Be here. Good luck. Keep it Andre. Does that give me any objective? Oh, several. Get to Crockett Park, southwest from your hideout, and steal whatever the keepers want from the pagan themed shop. Maybe it will shed some light on what is going on. Paolo must be connected to all this. Pay him a visit and see if you can answer a few questions. He lives just upriver from Montgomery Square, which is northwest from your hideout. Since it's not a dream, you might as well grab some loot. Get 1800 worth of valuables. Return to your hideout once all your tasks are completed. Right, because I go up these stairs and I see identical stairs going down on the other side, or maybe that's just the roof. Hmm, well, as I say, it's not all normal, is it? It's definitely far from all normal. Oh. Oh dear. <laughs> oh. So if I jump up here, do I fall forever? What happens if I jump into the sky? I die, but I've got to try it, right? Whee! Yeah, those stars are sharp, man. This door doesn't open any loot. There is! Look at that. Man, I haven't seen tricks like this since uh, Constantine's. Hmm. It's nice because uh, it's nice to see other people playing around with the same things. And in an open street, not just a crazy manner, it's, uh, it's fun. Oh wow, I can actually get over there. I can open that. Gate. Quiet, you machine. All right. Uh, before I keep going out here on the street, oops, I've got to find my way back inside, which is down here. So that door goes outside. 
What, where's this door go? The one that mirrored my hallway. It's at least right where up. Is this just my hideout again? Is there anyone in there? No. There's a clock. Ticking noisily. Alright. Year 835, month 7. Apartment 1, Mr. Garrett, paid in full. Apartment 2, vacant. Apartment 3, Mr. Brown, paid in full. Apartment 4, Isaac, one week late. Apartment 5, Mrs. Lee, paid in advance until the end of the year. Oh, there is another page. The building was robbed again, third time this year. Mr. Jackson, who lived in apartment 2, claims that not only all the gold was stolen from his footlocker, but also the gem he had hidden behind the bookshelf. Soon nobody will want to live here. At least I have regulars like Mr. Garrett. <laughs> uh, apartment 2. I don't think I can get into apartment 2. But I can steal your gold, Mr. Uh, landlord. And turn the lights on so I can see to steal your gold better. Anything on the bookcase? <laughs> there is. Come on. You're going to get up there in a sec uh, second ago. Well, I can just jump and prop, jump and prop. Alright, this doesn't do anything else. Noisy clock. Uh, anything else? Waste paper. Alright. You're not going to suspect anything, are you? And your door's unlocked and everything's upside down. So yeah, this is the only way forward. Let's check out this room. Oh, this is, this is must be his... <laughs> Apartment. Where did it say you get this stuff? I don't know. Isaac, other tenants are complaining about the stench coming from your apartment. Do something about it immediately. Who is Isaac? Let's check that loader again. Uh, Isaac, apartment four. Right, so it's not Mr. Jackson. There's a stench. Does he have a dead body in here or what? <laughs> See what his book says. Collected summons of Karras, so he's a mechanist. Oh, he's got a gold symbol, I'll take that. Oh, God, this is confusing. Being in an upside down room and looting stuff off the ceiling. I love it, but it's, uh. Yeah, there's a corpse. Banners must die. No, it doesn't. That's a shame. Well, I will put the corpse... Does he have a bed? No, I was... Yeah. Yes, he does. Leave the corpse. So where it'll fall nicely onto his bed. Turn the lights off or on or whichever way up that switch is. Alright, back out to this bizarre street. Uh, but before I do, I'm going to end the episode here. And uh, make a quick break for a cup of tea. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you here for the next episode.